or going circuits. I'm here in STEM station trying to make the propellers spin. I wonder if we can recreate this with our kits. Let's create a diagram for a simple circuit that will allow the propellers from our kit to spin on the motor. Remember, a diagram is a simple drawing showing how something works. These are the symbols you can use to represent the components from your kit. Pause the video now to draw. Check your diagram. Do you have lines that represent lead wires connecting your components in an unbroken loop? Did you include your power source? If so, can you make a simple circuit with the motor based on your diagram? Pause the video now to explore. This is my diagram. I will follow it to create my simple circuit. My diagram shows me that I will need to put the battery, the power source, into the blue battery holder. I will connect one end of the two lead wires with alligator clips by pinching the clips so they open like an alligator's mouth to the battery's terminal. It does not matter what color lead wire I use as long as I have two. The other ends will clip on to each of the ends of the metal tips of the wires of the motor. Again, the color does not matter. Now, the shaft of the motor should turn. Try attaching different propellers found in your kit to the top shaft of the motor. To attach the propellers, unclip one of the lead wires from the motor and put the propeller onto the top shaft of the motor. Then, reclip the lead wire to the motor. What do you notice about the different propellers as they spin? Pause the video now to explore. This is what the propellers looked like for me. The smallest propeller, the pink propeller with four blades, spins the fastest for me, compared to the larger yellow propellers with four and three blades. The larger the blade, the more force is required to spin it. If we want the yellow propellers to spin faster, we will need a stronger motor. Try moving the balloon from your kit across the room with the motor and different propellers. Pause the video now to explore. If the balloon did not move away from the propellers, this means the air is being pushed away from the balloon. To change the direction the air is being moved, switch which color motor wire your lead wires are attached to. Try to move your balloon now. Which propeller caused the balloon to move the furthest and fastest? For me, it was a large three-bladed yellow propeller. The longer blades increase the air movement, allowing the balloon to be pushed further and faster. What else can you move around the room with the propellers? For our next electrical engineering task, we will be using the mini light bulbs to explore the two types of simple circuits. When you are ready, continue on to the fourth video segment.